In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a global user store in Nux using USTATE without reaching for Pinia. We'll walk through building the composable, setting user data, and using call ones to hydrate it across your application. If you're building with Nux and want a simpler, cleaner way to manage shared state, this is a pattern worth using. Now, Pinia is great for managing complex application state like shopping carts or if you need scalability within larger projects. But when you just need to store something simple like user data, USTATE is faster, lighter, and built right into Nuxt. To get started, let's take a look at how USTATE works. First, we'll create a new variable, and we'll just call it count, and then we'll set this equal to the USTATE composable. Now, this composable takes in two arguments. The first is a key, which is a unique string used to reference this piece of state anywhere else within your application. Let's call this one count. The second is a function that returns the initial value. In this case, we'll just use a random number to keep it simple. And that's all there is to it. We now have a piece of state that we can access throughout the entire Nuxt application. Now to access this state in other files, we just want to create a new variable. And again, let's call this count. And then we'll set it equal to the use state composable. And then we'll use the same key that we defined earlier called count. And now we'll have access to that count state here in this file and any other file we want using this pattern. Now this count variable we define with the use state composable actually just returns a ref and we're able to update it just like any normal reactive value defined using ref. For example, we could create a button that when clicked will update the value of our count to a different random number. And once we select that button, you'll be able to see our count state is being updated. Now, as you've seen, we can call useState directly in any component, but that can get messy fast, especially as your application grows. Instead, we can create a composable to keep all of our logic in one place. This allows us to add things like fetch calls, reset functions, and make sure the state is only initialized once. Plus, it helps keep our components clean. So let's create a folder called composables and inside it a new file named useUserInfo.ts. To start, we want to export a new function and name it the same as our file, useUserInfo. The first thing that we want to do is initialize our state. So we'll create a new variable called userInfo and set it equal to the useState composable, passing in userInfo as the key. We won't be setting an initial value using the function, we're going to handle that separately with a custom setter function within our composable. Now let's create that function and we're going to call this set userInfo. Inside of this function, we'll check if user info already has a value using a simple if statement. If it doesn't, that means we should go ahead and fetch some user data. For the sake of this demo, I'm just going to be using the dummy JSON API to grab some fake user data. Once we get a response, we'll update our user info dot value with that result. Now, if you want to see a more complete version of this setup with real authentication using Superbase, I cover all of this inside of my course, Learn Nuxt. And for a limited time, you can use the code useState at checkout to get 15% off. Alright, now that we initialize a state and we created a setter function, the last step is to return both values from our composables so we can access them anywhere inside of our application. Now, we haven't actually initialized our user info state yet. To do this, we want to navigate to our app.view file and use the call ones function. The purpose of this function provided by Nuxt is to execute a given block of code only once during server side rendering but not again during hydration or during client side navigation. It's extremely useful for things like logging, analytics, or like in our case, setting up global state. So within the script section of our app.view file, we'll use a wait call once and pass in a synchronous callback. Inside that callback, we want to call our setUserInfo function from our composable. We can start by creating a destructured variable, pulling setUserInfo from the composable. And then inside of our callback, we just want to await that function. Now when the application first loads, this function will run, fetch our user data from the API, and set it to our global state. And the best part is, from this point on, in any file or component, we don't need to redefine or refetch anything, we can just call the composable and destructure out the value of user info. To me, this makes using useState much cleaner, and essentially gives you a lightweight user store without needing to install or configure Pinia. And of course, we could take this a step further and create additional helpers, like a clear user info function to reset the state if a user were to log out. 
Now this pattern is going to keep all of your logic in one place and your components can stay focused more on display and not data management. Alright, that's going to wrap it up here for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and can use the use state composal within your application. I really do think it's a great way to set up some global state without the need for Pinia. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.